Okay, just to finish talking about Sandy here, here's her shoes and her outfit, and a good look at her face. So she does kind of remind me of um, the Lindsay doll in a way. Not exact, but... And she's got this fuzzy kind of top on, so I thought for an aerobic doll that seems weird. But overall I think she's cute. I really do. Um... I'm going to probably take her out completely, but her legs feel like good sturdy rubber, and her arms are rubber and somewhat flexible. Um, but like I said, she's with her being an aerobic doll, she's got uh, movable head and arms, bendable legs, twist waist, and rooted hair. Well, you know, I'd hate to see a Barbie without rooted hair or a female doll. Uh, that would look really weird, but I'm sure they're out there. So, anyway, okay, so what do you guys think of this one? This is, again, Aerobic Sandy, and she, by the way, did have a date, I believe, 86. She's from 86, so, you know, the exercise craze was still going strong. Okay, guys, well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Barbie Dolls of the Week, Attack of the Clones Part 2, with some Barbies visiting as well. So take care, and I will talk to you another time. Bye-bye.